Carmen, so the story goes, was gored to death by a wild boar in a hunting accident when he was 40 years old. The 40 days of weeping for Tammuz was instituted one day for each year of his life, in which sun god worshippers would deny themselves a pleasure in this life for the sake of Tammuz's pleasure in the afterlife. When Tammuz's mother died many years later, the exalted Queen of Heaven was sent back to earth by the gods on the first Sunday after the vernal equinox. Nimrod's wife arrived in a giant egg which landed in the Euphrates River and broke open to allow her to emerge reincarnated as the bare-breasted goddess of sexual desire, Easter. To proclaim her divinity, Easter changed a bird into an egg-laying rabbit. In this dingy Hinnom Valley Tammuz cave, the occult priest would impregnate virgins on the altar of Easter at the Easter sunrise service, and a year later they sacrificed those three-month-old infants on the same altar and dyed Easter eggs in the blood of those sacrificed babies. To this day, one Christian denomination only allows their Easter eggs to be dyed a single specific color, blood red. They have no idea how the tradition started or what it rehearses, but now you know. Easter Sunday is now the day that culminates the 40 days of weeping for Tammuz, called by many Lent. On this day, entire denominations continue a tradition of slaughtering the wild boar that killed Tammuz and eating ham on Easter Sunday. There is one day that I assure you, Yahshua did not rise from the grave, Easter Sunday. Frequently, Easter and Passover are an entire month apart. Why? They represent the worship of two different gods. Easter is celebrated according to a pagan sun god calendar. Passover is celebrated according to the observance of the biblical new moon and the ripening of the barley in the land of Israel. Yahshua kept the feast of Passover. All of the rehearsals that were embedded in that feast were fulfilled the year of his death and resurrection. He was the final Passover sacrifice. His sinless blood paid the price for our redemption. On the other hand, Easter is a rehearsal of child sacrifice and fertility rites of pagan sun god worshippers. Which celebration should you keep? That depends on which god you serve. It's your choice. But now you understand why the Holy One instructs us. Do not learn the way of the heathen and how they worship their gods and then do the same to me. It is an abomination.